Hey folks, Brian Blessing in Las Vegas. Always glad to be with you. Bankthebook.com. Always in the sports wagering industry, you got to be looking ahead. And we're looking to the future with Stanley Cup futures and odds to win the East and West Conference. And the reason we'll talk about it now is the trade deadline is February 25th. And so often trades are made that will have a major impact. Personally, uh, I want to wait until after the trade deadline. Uh, however, there is a team I've been in love with from day one, and the price remains good. That's the National Predators. I'll tell you why here in just a second. Tampa Bay, great season. Four to one is actually not a bad price on a team that is just stacked with offensive talent. Uh, they have home ice advantage throughout the, the playoffs, uh, looks to be the case. And they've got an edge to their game and good goaltending. Tampa Bay clearly is the team to beat this year. And then you got to try to plot a course. Well, who may they face? And there's no guarantee they get out, by the way. The President's Trophy has been an absolute black cloud and hangs over the uh, head of the team, the best team in the regular season. Uh, they've only won the Cup 8 of 32 times since they started handing out the President's Trophy. Uh, in the West, I do like Nashville at 9-1. to one. Their defensive core is just top shelf. If they get good goaltending from Pekka Rennie, I think they're the team to beat. I think they'll turn the tables on Winnipeg, and then it will come down to will they have enough left in the tank to beat the winner that comes out of the Pacific Division. But this is a Nashville team, and Poyle made a move. Doesn't seem like much. Gave up a second-round pick to get Brian Boyle, but that's a role player that can make a big difference. Some guy that can come in on the third or fourth line for you, give you significant minutes, have that physical element to his game, and leadership. And that's what Brian Boyle does. It doesn't have to be a blockbuster deal. It could be a move uh, that just enhances you know, 10, 12 minutes a game, and it could be a big difference maker. David Poyle knew what his team needed. He paid dearly a second-round pick for a fourth-line guy from the Devils, but Boyle could have an impact with the Preds. But one thing I'll tell you, I, Calgary was the big mover here from 30-1 to preseason down to 8-1. to uh, They're in control of the Pacific Division. Now, San Jose or Vegas, more likely San Jose, could make a push and win the Pacific Division. But you know what? It's not a great price, but at 8-1, to one, I do believe the winner of the Pacific Division has the road laid out for them to make it to the finals. Because if, for argument's sake, it's Calgary, San Jose and Vegas are going to beat each other up in the first round. If San Jose wins the division, Vegas and Calgary beat each other up in the first round. And the winner of the Pacific Division is probably going to get a Dallas or a Minnesota, maybe gets by that series and with relative ease. Don't forget Vegas swept the Kings in the first round last year, and that was the thing that sent them on their way. They were fresh, and they didn't wear down all the way until the Stanley Cup Finals. So I think the Pacific Division winner has a big edge. And then on top of it, uh, if they were able to get out of the division, beat up, uh, beat a worn-down team from the first round, then they're likely going to get the Winnipeg-Nashville winner. And, you know, that has all the makings of a seven-game series, too. So uh, from a future perspective... I think the Pacific Division winner has a big opportunity. Eight to one's not too juicy. Uh, I would look at San Jose, to be honest with you, at 10 to one. That's a good price. Figure they're going to get better with each passing day with Eric Carlson and Burns and starting to find a group. The question with San Jose, and frankly, the question with uh, Calgary, is goaltending. And goaltending matters when you get to the postseason. So I think there are some price plays. Tampa in the East looks really good, but that doesn't mean somebody can't come in and pull off an upset. But in the West, uh, I think the Pacific Division winner is a team you should focus on. But personally, I still maintain Nashville is the team to beat. They're 9-1. to one. I don't know that Poyle is done. I think that little tweak move he made, they've got a great first line. They've got terrific defense. And if the goaltending comes through, and you know, I'll just tell you last year, uh, you hope he didn't even start the playoffs for the Cavs. He came in after the first two games of the first round and went on to win the Stanley Cup. If Pecorini were to struggle at any point in the postseason, Saros, the backup for Nashville, he's a big-time goaltender. Not a big guy, but he's a big-time goaltender. So Nashville at 9-1, to one, that's my team right now to win the Stanley Cup. And the future odds will fluctuate because the trade deadline is February 25th.